The headlines mark yet another historic low. The Bank of England says we're caught up in a severe and synchronised downturn in the world economy. As car sales slump, Ford told us it's cutting 850 jobs. GlaxoSmithKline, the drug maker, announced plans to save £1 billion by letting staff go. And we learned that another 17 Zavi stores are to close, with a loss of 242 jobs. Credits to companies, to individuals, is still hard to come by. Five successive interest rate cuts have not helped Tony Barker. His business survived the last recession. This time, he says it's tougher. The banks have had all this money from the government. They've mismanaged their money, lending, lending to uh, consumers who have got no... Well, some consumers got no financial sense anyway. Businesses which actually use their money to run and to fund, fund projects, uh, and we've been sensible with money, we're being penalised. He's not alone, so to are savers like Jim and Dorothy Ogden. The couple will be earning less interest on the money they have in the bank, interest they rely on to supplement their pension. You've got to look at your expenditure and try and keep it within bounds because their interest coming from your investments isn't going to be a safeguard as it used to be. The Halifax says that in January house prices went up. The trend is still downwards, but there are at least signs of a pulse. The mortgage deals in the window at least are set to get cheaper, but the data company MoneyFact says that to qualify for the best rates available, a buyer is going to have to put down at least one quarter of the purchase price. So for the average house in the UK, which Halifax says is currently worth just over £160,000, a buyer is going to have to have a deposit of at least £40,000. Economists can't agree on how low interest rates will go, but there is a consensus that cutting bank rates alone won't be enough to help the economy recover. The government can step in here uh, and actually begin to offer interest-free loans for the deposit that you need for a house. And I think what that would do is significantly underpin the housing market. The smart money here is on the Bank of England printing more of it. Because although interest rate cuts have made credit cheaper, the fact is there's still not enough of it around.